Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Attachment Project series. I'm so pleased that you didn't tire of hearing about disorganized attachment, how it's formed, and its typical traits in our previous videos. Because today I'm here to talk about how a disorganized attachment style can influence an important area of your life, your friendships. Before we continue, if you're wondering if you have a disorganized attachment style or are not sure of your attachment style in general, then you can take our free quiz and have your results back in minutes. Remember, understanding how your attachment style influences your thoughts and actions is the first important step towards change. But for now, let's dive into the world of disorganized attachment and friendships. Having a disorganized attachment style may make you more predisposed to certain behaviors within friendships, but this doesn't mean that other people see you as being defined by your attachment style. Throughout your life, you've likely gone through many different experiences, met plenty of people, or perhaps even done professional work on your attachment traits. My point is that although you may identify with some of the following descriptions, others may not apply to you. If they don't, it may mean that you've grown and are potentially more equipped to handle the dynamics of friendships. However, if you do identify with some of these traits, then at least you can start your journey on the path to change. Friendships play an integral role in everyone's lives, yet due to how we think and act, they can look different for each and every one of us, especially if you have a disorganized attachment style. As you might remember from our previous videos, your first experiences of relationships may not have met your needs in the way you wanted them to. As a result, you may have subconscious beliefs around how people will live up to your expectations, and this may affect how you act around them. Someone with a disorganized attachment style is prone to both avoidant and anxious behaviors. Depending on your mood and situation, you may on occasion be a little needy of people's attention and approval, but at another time, you might push them away and act quite distant. Because of your desire and fear of close friendships, this can cause an unpredictable pattern of behaviors within your social group. Others may often see you as exciting and unpredictable. You may come across as the life and soul of the party, which might cause other people to become drawn to you. However, because of your propensity to unpredictability, you may also regularly find yourself involved in conflict with friends even if you often don't understand how it starts. For example, issues in your friendships could escalate quickly due to your perceptions of how your friends treat you. Let's say that a friend forgets to text you back. You might see this as them rejecting you or being angry at you. So in response, you may become confrontational. What's more, the disorganized attachment style often leaves people prone to mood swings, which other people may find exhausting and difficult to manage. You may also have a hard time trusting other people because let's face it, other people in your life have often let you down. However, you may be prone to an imbalance between oversharing information in an attempt to forge a sense of closeness with someone and withdrawing from the friendship and closing down emotionally. Unfortunately, other people will be sensitive to this behavior and may not know where they stand with you. Understandably, this can make it difficult to forge close, long-lasting bonds. We understand that some of this information could be difficult to hear, even if it may help you to make sense of your own actions. We provide a guided meditation that can help you to process your emotions and feelings if you feel like they're overwhelming. Remember, you behave the way you do because you deeply desire connection with people, but you also expect them to hurt you. You are simply attempting to protect yourself, even if sometimes you may not exactly go about it in an adaptive manner. However, these factors don't mean that a disorganized attacher cannot forge meaningful and long-lasting friendships. It just might take some further understanding and work. What do you think about the typical traits of an avoidant attacher within a friend group? Can you see your own behaviors in the descriptions? Or maybe even some of your friends? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. For more details on how the disorganized attachment style affects how we act in different circumstances, check out our videos on disorganized attachment and relationships in the workplace and the superpowers of the disorganized attachment style. Also, to facilitate a deeper understanding of your attachment style as well as how the other styles function, make sure to check out our comprehensive book, Attachment Styles, Ultimate Guide and Workbook. After all, understanding is the first step to change. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.